It's been a dangerous side effect of life during a pandemic. People neglecting their own medical care over fears of COVID, especially when it comes to cancer. So for today's case at Q&A, we're bringing in Dr. Ruben Mesa with the Mays Cancer Center at UT Health, MD Anderson, to talk about these fears. Doctor, thanks for being with us. First, explain what you are seeing. What, what are some ways in which the pandemic is affecting how people seek care for cancer? Well, COVID has had a big impact as it relates to cancer. Uh, we have recognized that individuals with cancer have greater risk if they have COVID. Now, we've seen, one, that patients have been able to be treated safely for their cancers during this period, get safe surgery, chemotherapy, radiation be cured from their cancer. The challenge we've seen is that there has been a very sharp decrease in cancer screening, so colonoscopies, mammography, or individuals ignoring symptoms of cancer that they otherwise would have been uh, gone in to see their doctor. So we are seeing individuals present potentially with a later stage cancers, and we estimate that COVID might take even 10,000 additional lives from cancer due to delayed screenings in the years to come. Wow, a lot of yeah. concern about COVID in this time of cancer. And it, it, talk about the safeguards that are in place specifically at the Mays Cancer Center. Like when, if, if I show up for cancer treatment, what safeguards are in place because of COVID? Well, we're incredibly proud of the tremendous effort of our team, our nurses and all of our staff to keep both patients, their family members, and our staff safe. So that includes uh, rigorous screening at the door with temperature, mandatory masking, social distancing, you know, very extensive cleaning protocols. We never paused on caring for cancer patients for even a moment during the pandemic and have cared for more cancer patients than we had in 2019. We cared for even more in 2020 uh, in a safe way. So we're very, uh, Please that we were able to accomplish that while keeping patients, family members, and our staff safe. There are so many questions out there about the COVID-19 vaccine. We hear from viewers every day with various different scenarios they're curious about, and a lot of them have to do with cancer. If they are current cancer patients, if they have had cancer in the past, the big question is, is it safe for those people to get the COVID-19 vaccine? I would say overall, yes. I've had this direct conversation with the director of the National Cancer Institute and even with Dr. Anthony Fauci. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines we feel are safe for cancer patients and cancer survivors. Uh, there is a question in individuals that are cancer survivors or are on treatment, uh, how effective the vaccine will be, but we feel that even if it's partially effective, it can provide life-saving protection against the virus. So we're very proud that we have been able to begin vaccinating our cancer patients, and that's very much in accordance with the national guidelines. We're pleased to be able to give them that protection against the terrible COVID virus. Do you find that people are just afraid to come into a hospital setting for any reason now because of COVID? Unfortunately, yes. We've seen that again, both with cancer, but with other diseases, such as not coming in for a heart attack or a stroke. I can assure people watching that our healthcare environments are safe to come into. They're tremendously strict protocols. And I would say the city of San Antonio has done an extraordinary job. So both our University of UT Health San Antonio and the Mays Cancer Center, but clearly our colleagues here in town at other systems, it is safe to come in for your care if you have a symptom, a concern, uh, a lump, chest pain, shortness of breath, this is not the time to ignore your health care. Uh, you can receive the health care that you require in a safe way. What would your message be to people? I mean, I, something that stuck out to me that you said earlier is you're seeing people with further advanced cancers because they're just delaying that treatment sometimes over COVID-19. So what is your message to anybody who feels like they either need to get a screening, they've been putting off something routine? What would you tell them they need to do right now? Unfortunately, cancer is not on a lockdown. So if you have cancer, 
uh, it is going to progress if we don't find it early. Cancer screenings can help to save lives, which is why they've made such an impact. So get your colonoscopy, get your mammogram, and if you have any signs or symptoms that you are not well, a, a lump, uh, blood in the stool, losing weight unexpectedly, any of these typical early signs of cancer, do not ignore them. See your primary care doctor or anything urgent. Do not fear going in to see your doctor emergently. Because in a lot of cases, early detection saves lives. That's really what we're talking about. Dr. Ruben Mesa with the Mays Cancer Center at UT Health San Antonio MD Anderson. Appreciate your time and expertise on this subject. Thank you very much.